So good evening to everybody who has uh, come here tonight. I wish you all a warm welcome and it's very much a privilege to uh, welcome Kimball Sordaiji here to Oxford to give a lecture to us this evening. Uh, my name is uh, Catherine Hardy. I'm a DPhil student in the, at the Institute of Social and Cultural Anthropology here at Oxford. And it's uh, in the course of my uh, DPhil research, actually, that I got to know Kempel Sordaiji. So I, I really feel it's a great honour to have him here uh, on Oxford turf and to um, uh, yeah, share in this opportunity. So Kempel Sordaji, um, many of you may be very familiar with his background and some of you might not know so much. It's certainly no exaggeration to say that he is uh, really one of the most influential Tibetan Buddhist teachers in mainland China today. So um, Kempel Sordaji's role at uh, Larunga from quite early was as a translator of Chinese for the founding lama of Larunga, Kempo Jimmy Punso. And his role really grew from there. Um, over the past 10 or 20 years, he's been the director of the uh, department for the teaching of Buddhism to Chinese students at Larunga. Um, and over this time, a total of 31 Kempo, or um, fully qualified uh, uh, scholarly Chinese monks and nuns, have graduated from Larunga and are proving to be uh, very significant in the spread of Tibetan Buddhist, Buddhist teachings in mainland China. Um, but it's not just in terms of his teachings and efforts at Larunga that he's well known in China. Over the last 10 years in particular, he's been expended a great deal of effort and has been very influential in terms of his efforts to bring Tibetan Buddhist teachings to lay audiences in mainland China. Um, and he has done this through the publication of many books, the publication of DVDs, and in general adopting a genre of teaching that brings the teachings or um, enables the teachings to address the real life situations of many students. Um, his outreach uh, activities inv have involved uh, university visits, both in mainland China. He has visited uh, some of the most prestigious and well-known universities. He's really made great efforts to interact with young people. Um, um, and over the last couple of years, has also had chances to travel overseas and interact with uh, Western audiences as well. Um, he has notably been at the vanguard of utilizing modern technologies such as the internet and uh, social media, etc., to bring uh, Tibetan Buddhist teachings to a wider audience. So uh, Kembal Sordaji is, um, there's no argument, he is a very pivotal figure in the contemporary Buddhist scene in mainland China and beyond. He's a bridge between culture and it's a great honour to welcome him here this evening and if you could all join me in giving him a clap and welcome him tonight. <laughs> 